Today, we will start a series that I've been teasing a year ago and unfortunately didn't have time to make. Anyway, what we are building in this short series is a fully featured e-commerce app. We are going to cover authentication, sign up and sign in. Building an amazing UI with fancy custom widgets, but we won't stop here. We will also link that to a real backend and set up a payment gateway so you can actually make test payments. Obviously, since this is Flutter, the app is fully compatible with Android and looks as good on iOS as it does on Android. I didn't test it on web though, but it should also work with minor tweaks. Now you have a general idea about the mobile side of things. Let's talk about the backend. We're going to use Strapi, which is an open source Node.js headless CMS. It's a great way of getting an API built very fast while offering a great amount of flexibility. As we're going to see in this series, by tweaking the code a bit, we can accept payments and do all sorts of cool stuff. And for the skeptical among you, Strapi is actually used by many big companies, so you can actually rely on it to deploy a production app. Now, let's talk packages, starting with Flutter. Provider is for state management. HTTP, well, that's for HTTP. Flutter secure storage to store the JW token. And finally, Stripe to handle the money stuff. In the backend, we only need to add Stripe for Node.js so we can handle the payment on the backend. Let's get started by going to the strapi.io website and click on Get Started. As you can see, they have a pretty extensive documentation. For now, what we need to do is to go to the terminal and create a new Strapi project by running this command. Let it do its things. Once it finishes, you can set up your admin account. This is the admin dashboard. This is where we will create our content, add images, etc. We will get back to this later. Now, let's create our Flutter app. As usual, open your terminal and run the Flutter create command. Then, add the packages we talked about in the beginning. In this episode, we won't do any real coding, but I'd like to create all the files and folders we will use later. You can find the project as it is in the link in the description. As you can see, my folder architecture is pretty simple. I have a folder for my data models, another one for the services, and the last one for the UI elements. I would also suggest having a view model folder where you can put your providers. Inside the UI folder, I have two folders, one for the individual app screens and another one for the widgets that can be used across the app. Another important file that I like to have is the global.dart file, where I can save my global variables such as the app color scheme, text size, and so on. In the upcoming episodes, we will create our e-commerce shop products, create the app UI, and the API services in Flutter. Then, link everything together to get a fully featured app. If you found this video helpful, you can support me by buying a cup of coffee using the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more Flutter tutorials.